Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to give a look upon types of fermentation process. Generally there are three types of fermentation process. The first is batch fermentation process second continuous fermentation process and the third is dual or multiple fermentation process. So let's study batch fermentation. In batch fermentation process the fermentation is carried out in batches that is a single batch works at a time. No other fermentation is attached to it or no continuous fermentation is carried out here. Once the fermentation process is over that batch of fermentation is stopped at the place. And the next point is fermentation media is added in fermenter. So when the batch fermentation process is carried out, first of all the first step is adding of fermentation media in fermenter. Further, this fermentation media is sterilized and inoculated with inoculum. So the fermentation media is sterilized by autoclaving and further it is inoculated with inoculum. Inoculum uh, are the microorganisms that are going to carry out your fermentation process and a specific rate or we can say a specific per percentage of inoculum is decided that is going to be added in the batch fermentation. So next point is fermentation is carried out at optimum conditions. The inoculum that we are going to add in fermentation procedure are the microorganism and these microorganisms require optimum conditions for their growth and optimum conditions are the conditions at which the microorganisms growth rate is maximum the activity carried out is maximum so the it is very important to maintain the optimum conditions during fermentation process further after specific time of fermentation the fermentation is stopped and desired product is obtained. So once the fermentation is over at a specific period of time uh, randomly the uh, we can say the samples are checked whether the uh, fermentation is over or the product is desired product is formed or not. So after a specific period of time the fermentation is stopped and the product is obtained. After obtaining the product the product is passed through various procedures like recovery, purification and packaging. There are various procedures undergone in this process. So further the fermentation after means when the fermentation is over, product is recovered, the fermenter is emptied and further the fermenter is cleaned and reused for the next batch of fermentation. The second fermentation process is continuous fermentation process. In continuous fermentation process, the fermentation is carried out continuously without emptying the tank. That is, uh, it's not like batch fermentation. In batch fermentation, once the fermentation is over, the fermentation is stopped, the product is recovered and the fermenter is cleaned and reused. But here in this case, the fermentation is carried out continuously that is once the media is added once the inoculum is added the fermentation is carried out after a specific period of time the fresh media is again inoculated continuously in fermentation tank and from the other side the product is continuously removed so the next point is the C there is continuous addition of fresh media and withdrawal of fermentation product so from one side media is added and from the other point fermentation product is removed the next point is all cells should be in lock phase that is the inoculum the microorganisms that are that are going to carry out a fermentation process should be in lock phase lock phase is a phase in which the multiplication the growth of microorganism is maximum level the product that are synthesized the product which we need from our fermentation procedure is synthesized at a maximum or high rate at this lock phase by the microorganisms the fourth point is 
the rate of addition of media should satisfy nutrient requirements of fermentation organism that is the rate of addition of media should not lower down or it should not become slow if this happens the microorganism can enter in a stationary phase and that thing is not good for a fermentation so here it is important the media which we are adding to our fermentation should satisfy the nutrient requirements of fermentation organism so that they live in logarithmic phase that is the log phase and they continuously carry out our fermentation and give us our desired product so high yield is one of the most important point in fermentation and this all procedure which we carry out in continuous fermentation is for high yield obtaining generally there are three types of continuous fermentation procedures so let's see one by one the first one is single stage continuous fermentation second one is single stage recycle continuous fermentation third one is multi stage continuous fermentation so first one single stage continuous fermentation the fermenter is used continuously the rate of addition of fermentation of media and removal of product is same it is the general continuous fermentation procedure this explanation we have seen before also it is the same thing now the second stage is single stage recycle continuous fermentation here also a single fermenter is used continuously the second point is the rate of inoculum of media and rate of fermentation broth that is the rate of inoculation of media and removal of fermentation broth is same that is at the same rate from one side media is added and from other side fermented broth is removed the third point is the portion of fermented broth plus withdrawal culture is re-added in the fermentation see because of this point it is called single stage recycle continuous fermentation that is whenever the broth is removed the fermented broth is removed a portion of that broth plus the culture that carries out the fermentation is re-added in the fermentation the third one is multi-stage continuous fermentation here two or more fermenters are operated continuously here a single fermenter is not used here we require two or more fermenters then the next is first fermenter is used for growth of cells generally what happens ki jo first fermenter is there it is used for cell growth some product some products are not formed at the initial stages some products mm, some fermentations require growth of cells so in this first in first fermenter the growth of cells is carried out and the next point is the product is formed after cell multiplication so in some cases of fermentation the growth of cells takes place when the growth of cells takes place the cell undergo multiplication and the product which we require is formed at this stage so the product is formed after cell multiplication and further the effluent of first fermenter act as the influent of second fermenter that is the first fermenter product is the biomass of cell that we have grown there and that biomass of cell is added in the second fermenter for our product synthesis so these are the types of ferment continuous fermentation procedures the third and the most important fermentation process is multiple or dual fermentation process in this fermentation process here multiple microorganisms are used that is two or more microorganisms are used in this process first microorganism makes the fermentation media suitable for the growth of second microorganisms that is when we inoculate first microorganism in brings about some changes in that fermentation media and makes it suitable for the growth of second microorganism the third point is second microorganism produces the product as well as removes the toxic product from the first microorganisms 
so uh, no doubt when we inoculate the first uh, first microorganism in the fermentation media no doubt it makes the media suitable but as well as it produces some toxic products which are harmful for our product or that pro toxic products can alter our main important product so this second microorganism it produces the product as well as it removes the toxic products from the media the third the fourth and the last point is sometimes both microorganisms are inoculated simultaneously in some cases both microorganisms are inoculated at the same time in a fermentation media and the fermentation procedure is carried out if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video